Hey everyone, my name is Laura, and this week on 16 Weeks of Internships, I'll be taking you through what it's like to be a product management intern at MongoDB in New York City. I typically start my day off sometime between 7 and 8 a.m., some days even 6.30 if I feel like waking up earlier to go for a run. At around 8, I'll get ready for work, and I live on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, which is a very nice area near Columbia University. So from there, I just hop on the subway and I have a 20 minute commute to work. Usually I'll come into the office at either nine or 10 a.m. We're only expected to come in three days a week. So some days if I have an early morning call, I might take that one at home and come in later during the day. Once I get to the office, I'll head down to the kitchen on the 37th floor to start my day off with some hibiscus berry tea. I'm not much of a breakfast person, but sometimes I'll grab a snack. Then I head over to my desk, which has a great view of the Hudson. Before we jump into what my day looks like, let me tell you a bit more about MongoDB and my role. MongoDB is a database company that uses the document model. It is a non-relational database which is unstructured, distributed, and has a dynamic schema compared to relational databases. We store data into documents, which are then grouped into collections, and each document can be different. This model stores data efficiently, makes data easier to understand for developers working with it, and the data structure is easier to change over time. Mongo also provides additional tools to help users manage and work with their data, such as charts for data visualization. Additionally, Mongo is strongly focused on the developer experience, so there are many resources available to immediately get started with MongoDB, whether that be for experienced developers or students new to databases. I'm currently a product manager within the security org, which is a really interesting role because I get to interact with both the cloud and server teams at Mongo. The role of a product manager is to be the voice of the customer. It's your responsibility to determine what needs to be built next and why based on your users' needs. The role is commonly described as lying at the intersection of business, tech, and design, which is accurate because you'll be interacting with stakeholders across all of these domains. The amount of time you spend in each domain will vary based on the type of product you're working on and the company you're working for, since product management tends to be defined differently across different organizations. Another large component of product management is product execution. So after you've determined what to build next and why, and you've rallied your team around this idea, it's your responsibility to really drive that product or feature forward all the way to launch. In the morning, I write out a to-do list in the notes application on my laptop to track the goals I want to accomplish, which I'll refer back to throughout the day. I also take the time to schedule any potential meetings that may be needed and follow up on any emails or Slack messages I may have. At around noon, most interns have lunch, so I'll often go out and grab some takeout near the office. Some days we also have either team lunches or intern events happening at that time. And all the interns typically bring back food to the office and we'll have a lunch together with whoever is in that day. After I wrap up lunch, I will take meetings in the afternoon, although my schedule can vary day to day. For my meetings, I'll grab a conference or phone room there are also these really cool small phone booths in the hallway designed to allow people just to hop in for a quick call. I have meetings with my manager at least twice a week, as well as weekly team planning sessions for product and additional security triage meetings. Then I will also have calls with stakeholders for projects I'm working on. Since Mongo has offered a flexible working schedule, meetings can be virtual or in person, and if you're in office, you can grab a conference room and just throw all the participants on the big screen. Thank you. Here we're having a chat to catch up with the Canadian interns. Another important meeting that all interns have bi-monthly is with our campus recruiters to catch up on how everything is going, both inside and outside of work, to ensure that you're having the best experience possible. Then, at the end of the day, there are a lot of activities around the office, so we'll often scoot around or play some pool on the 38th floor. Outside of the day-to-day, -day, the internship program at Mongo is amazing. Our coordinators put in a ton of effort, from weekly speaker series with C-level execs, to intern events like outings to Central Park or talent shows. They work extremely hard to ensure that it is a phenomenal experience. 
There are a lot of affinity groups you can join at Mongo. I'm part of the underrepresented genders in tech, so there were a lot of women in tech events during the summer. Throughout my internship, there were three other APM interns in my cohort, and we met weekly with the full-time APMs, who provided invaluable feedback to help guide us throughout our experience. Mongo also offers an amazing work-life balance. We had some time off during our internship, which some interns have used to explore the city. I personally used those days to attend a security conference in Denver, Colorado, and got to explore Red Rocks Park there with some friends. Outside of work, there's plenty to do in New York. I typically spend my evenings and weekends hanging with friends and exploring new parts of the city. One of my favorite things to do in the mornings is go for a run. Fortunately, in NYC, there are many parks to choose from, like Central Park or routes on the Hudson River. On weekends, I often go grocery shopping to pick up some breakfast and lunch items. I'd say it's 50-50 in terms of cooking at home and grabbing food from restaurants. There's a never-ending amount of food to try throughout Brooklyn and Manhattan, and I love going out with friends to try new food places. With most of the interns in the office during the summer, there was a lot to explore, and it was a blast to catch up with friends I had worked with remotely and meet new ones while in the city. Manhattan also has a lot of great places to explore, aside from the traditional tourist spots like Times Square and Staten Island. There are many biking routes, so I got to bike around various islands. I also did a top to bottom of Manhattan hike with some friends. Some highlights of completing my internship in September were definitely getting to see Billie Eilish perform in concert and attending Hamilton on Broadway before I left. Overall, New York is an amazing city with so many different things to do. Now let's hop into some Q&A. What program are you in and what school do you go to? I'm currently studying biomedical engineering with an option in software engineering at the University of Waterloo. And one of the really cool things about my program is that it's actually based off of systems design. So we learn how to engineer from a user's perspective. And we always keep that in mind when designing different products. So that has been extremely beneficial in terms of gaining the skills required to be a PM and it's really aided within the PM role. Why did you decide to intern at MongoDB? So MongoDB was a technology that I was familiar with prior to applying. I had used it at hackathons, co-op terms, and different personal projects as well. Also, I had been able to speak with recruiters at different online events and online conferences, as well as talk to some past interns who had gone through the program and I had heard nothing but positive things about both the company and the experience, so that was definitely something that drove me to apply. And after being at Mongo for several weeks, I can definitely attest to the culture it has, which was something that was evident during the recruiting process. How did you find your internship? So I actually found my internship through a recruiter posting on LinkedIn. Once I saw that, I messaged one of the hiring managers who mentioned they were hiring PMs for their team. Um, and after that message, I was able to get started in the recruiting process. What skills and past experiences helped you get the internship? So at the University of Waterloo, we have co-op integrated into our program, which means we have six four-month work terms throughout our degree. And I'm actually on my seventh right now with MongoDB. Majority of my previous internships were actually within software engineering, primarily within full stack development. And those were extremely beneficial in terms of being able to build out those technical skills that have aided me throughout the PM roles in terms of being able to better communicate with engineers and understand what they're going through, as well as having that technical background knowledge when approaching uh, product development so you understand what you're capable of building. And prior to Mongo, I was working at Tesla as a software engineer on their data privacy team and then switched over to product management on their fleet slash digital experiences team and that was an amazing experience. I got to work with a very great team and an awesome manager who taught me a lot of those fundamental PM skills that I was then able to bring into this internship with Mongo. What is the most valuable lesson you've learned from your internship? The most valuable lesson I've learned over the course of my internship this summer is about effective storytelling, which I really think is a lifelong skill that we all need to work on. And particularly as a PM, it's very important that you understand the audience you're speaking with, since you'll be interacting with many different clients and stakeholders. So you need to understand what their motivations are and what they're looking to gain from their conversation with you. So being able to briefly hit all the key points that they're looking for and explain to them why your product has value and how you'll accomplish the goals you have set in terms of achieving the product vision 
or the different methods you're executing on are very important skills to have whenever you're interacting with these teammates. How does software engineering compare to product management? This is a question I've definitely received a lot given my software engineering background and my recent transition into product management. Both software and product definitely do have their differences, even though they work very closely together. They are similar in some senses, particularly within their career progression, but I can definitely dive into some of the aspects I thought were different. One of the largest differences between the roles is that SWE is consistent across most organizations you'll be at. So when I'm a full stack developer at one company, I can expect that my role would be rather similar at other companies as well. However, with PM, it can look very different at every organization. So the daily items you work on are also different. When I was a software engineer, my time was always optimized um, in terms of being able to increase the amount of time I have to program. So besides like sprint planning meetings that I'd have every week and then maybe some triage meetings and some potential one-off meetings, I would really leave the rest of that time to program. Whereas as a PM, you might actually spend your entire day in meetings just due to the nature of the role and the number of teammates you have to meet with. So you really need to carve out um, some focus time and get some heads down work done. How do you determine if product management is a good fit for you? Like I've mentioned previously, the role of a PM is highly variable depending on the company you're at. So whenever you're looking at doing PM at a particular company, it's important to do your research and understand what a day will look like in that role for that organization specifically. So one useful thing I have found is reading up on PM blogs in order to gain a good understanding of both the culture of the company and the different roles and processes that they follow. But if you're currently already interning somewhere and you're curious about what a PM role would look like, ask the PMs you're working with if you can shadow them directly and learn more about their role and potentially pick up some projects that they're working on. So product management has definitely very recently gained a lot of popularity and PMs do come from a variety of different backgrounds so having a technical background definitely isn't the only option however it is beneficial um, depending on which company you're going to since some do require their PMs to be technical so if that's the case then you would likely have to make up for that engineering knowledge or technical background knowledge on your own time and that's definitely possible if you're proactive and looking for those opportunities one of the best ways to determine if product management is the right fit for you is definitely doing an internship within the field if that's still an option available to you. I have friends who were in software before and then tried out a product management internship and they found that they didn't enjoy it as much as software so they went back. I've personally really enjoyed um, both my product management internships but trying it out for yourself and seeing if it's a good fit for you is definitely the best way to go. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the 16 Weeks channel. Comment down below letting us know what else you'd like to see and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn if you want to see and learn more tips related to professional development and career growth. I'll see ya!